Hello and welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, this is autograph like all of you know, but uh, we're going to do something very, very different from what we've usually done before. And that's why you see the calmness in my voice. I'm usually not like this, like all of you know. <laughs> Too much of bubbliness. But today, I'm like keeping all my energies down and not down as an energies are high, but my voice is going to be low because I am nervous right now. I'm sitting in front of a very, very famous and world-renowned um, mystic, I should say, the founder of Isha Yoga and the founder of Isha Foundation, um, the one person who has converted and influenced so many people in their life and made them feel uh, what is to, what made them feel the spirit, spiritual side of themselves, the inner core and I don't know what else. I mean, I'm going to find out. I know that when I walk out of this room, I'm going to be a different person, at least a little bit, uh, touched by his words. Welcome to my show. <laughs> my work is not about converting people into something other than what they are. Okay. It's about making them who they are. Right. You are an anchor? Yes, I am. No, you're just a young girl. So I yes, want to I make am. you just a young girl, not an anchor. <laughs> so just right. be that way. Okay. So, uh, so I make uh, everybody who they really are. Right. If they're converted, I deconvert them. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to start off with, uh, a feather in your turban recently is the Indra Gandhi uh, Pariyavaran Award that you just uh, won for the Green Hands. Congratulations on that. What inspired you to do this? So, India, Indira Gandhi Paryavaran, Paryavaran Puraskar is uh, not an award for me. Hmm. Not me who needs to be congratulated. This was done by common folk in Tamil Nadu. Hmm. So, this is for the Tamil people. Hmm. So, this was done not by some great funding or some big organization supporting this. This was done by ordinary peasants, farmers, housewives, children, most of them who have to work daily for their bread, mm. for their daily living, they have to work that day to earn that day's living. Mm. But those people dedicated their time and energies to make this happen. Mm. So it needs more than an award and this award is a wonderful recognition of their work. Mm. So essentially this whole thing started because uh, we realized through certain studies that Tamil Nadu is rapidly transforming itself into a desert. Mm. The, because the amount of green cover in Tamil Nadu is very low, it's less than 16 percent at that time, 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago, and uh, the national aspiration is 33 percent. Mm. More than 68 percent of the land is plowed in Tamil Nadu. Mm. The international average is 11 percent plowing is what is there, but here we are plowing so much. The green cover is gone, so the desertification is happening very rapidly. Mm. To reverse that, the simple plan was to bring more green cover so that the soil and uh, water resources in the land can be preserved. Mm. <coughs> so we made a simple barefoot plan, barefoot calculation that if you plant 114 million trees mm. in about six to eight years' time, mm. in 15 years' time, you would have 33% uh, green cover. So when I said 114 million trees, people's eyeballs roll, yeah. Sadhguru, that much, how? Mm. Then I asked them, what's our population? Mm. In Tamil Nadu, you have 62 million population. I said, if all of us plant one tree, mm. take care of it for two years, mm. plant one more tree, it's done. Even a beggar on the street is capable of doing this. Mm. It's not a question of affluence, it's not a question of mm. capability. Mm. Can you plant one tree and take care of it? Sure. Sure, yeah. everybody can, isn't yes. it? It's just that we have never thought like this. Mm. First six years, we went about planting trees in people's minds, mm. which is the most difficult terrain. Yes. <laughs> True. And now we are only transplanting it. That's why it's happening so joyfully because it's already there in the tree, the weight of the tree in their head. Right. Now they're just putting it on the ground very effortlessly. But when you preach and you say all of these things to so many million people at one uh, sermon, you know, so many million people, you're saying so many things and people ask you so many questions. How do you have the answers to those questions always? They only ask questions about life, and I am yeah. life. Are you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I wouldn't have so many answers to my life. No, that's because you don't remember it as life. Right. You get identified with your body, with your experiences, with your people, with your family, with this, that, so many things. Mm. 
I am not identified with anything, I am just here reverberating as life. If you mm. ask me anything about life, mm. I'll say because the only and only thing that I know, mm. I don't know any scriptures, mm. I have not studied anything, I have not bothered to look in that mm. direction because the only thing that I know mm. is I know this piece of life absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your education, your clothing, your, uh, your job, your whatever else you do are only frills to life, mm. it's not life. Mm. You can enjoy the frills only if you have a skirt. Right. Right now this is the problem with people, they don't have a skirt but they got frills. <laughs> That's a shameful way to live. Yeah, it is for sure. <laughs> Nothing to cover up. <laughs>nowadays the youth, people like me. Now there are so many people like me, so many youngsters out there who are not into yoga, not into meditation, believe in lifestyle. It's all about living a life out of a glossy book, uh, you know, watching television, going out, uh, you know, partying, socializing, you know, the likes, the works, you know, buying expensive clothes and shoes. It's always about who you are. People are judging you all the time. And uh, and you have, like, the, the older we get, then we understand that, you know, like my mother would always don't, tell me Don't that. call me old, okay? No, 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 I, I'm not calling you, I'm saying the older we get, the older we get, then we start getting spiritual. So, but there are many people who would like to, uh, you know, take up yoga and all of that. So what would you tell to the youngsters nowadays who want to take this path of life? So it's not necessary to think that I have to become spiritual. Hmm. All I'm asking you is just this, you're sitting here as a human being, you are a certain mechanism, hmm. one way of looking at it. Hmm. This is a human mechanism that's functioning. This involves body, this involves brain, this involves mind, this involves your emotions, this involves your energy, a whole lot of things. Hmm. What makes this one a complete piece of life? If you want to be an effective human being in this life, if you want to perform well, you want to do things well, you want to you want to do your life good. Mm. If you want to enjoy your life, if you want to know your life, if you want to experience your life, you must be able to use this mechanism to the fullest extent. Mm. If you want to use this to the fullest extent, you need to know this, first of all, what, what potential it carries, isn't it? So all I am asking is, you as a piece of life, not as a girl, mm. maybe as a girl somebody feels that they can pay enough attention to you. Mm. But I'm saying as a piece of life, do you think it's worthwhile for you to pay a certain level of attention to this mechanism which you call as myself, human mechanism? Mm. You think it's worthwhile? Yes, it is. If you think life is valuable, the mm. first and foremost thing that you need to do is pay enormous attention to this, what is this? Mm. How is it made? If you do not understand this, you're never going to use it to its fullest extent. You are going to live a half a life and go. If you want to live a full life, you must know this human mechanism in the highest possible way. Mm. So forget about spirituality, yoga, nonsense, everything. Now this human mechanism is the most sophisticated machinery on the planet. Mm. Not the phone, not the computer, not the spacecraft, no. This is the highest level of technology that you can find on this planet. Mm. Why are you ignoring it? If you want to pay attention, come do yoga. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Okay, if you were if you were not uh, uh, doing this, what else would you be doing in your life? If you never had that, uh, you know, that little thing at, at inspiration at the time when you were twenty five years old, what would you be doing if not this? Because you didn't, <laughs> you said that you not, you didn't, uh, you want, you didn't want, you didn't like education, you didn't want to be. Uh, you wanted to un do everything other than, you know, you wanted to learn about yourself. So what, what else would you have done if you were not, you didn't take this path? Well, I would have just done about everything else as I'm doing today. It's not the only thing I'm doing. Yeah. I'm doing everything else. Okay. So I would be doing everything else. Yeah. <laughs>
terrible. Yeah. Yeah, very terrible. I don't know what word to use, but it's really not horrid good. Story. Yeah, it's horrid story. So, how do how do people reinforce that trust and faith in 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 this? How how do you, what do you, what is your take? My thing is, at no point have I demanded faith from people. Okay. All I'm telling them is, I'll give you some simple method. You work with it. If it works, you give the next pass. If it doesn't work, just go. Don't be hit. It will definitely work. If you apply it into your life, it definitely work because it's a technology. Mm. Right now, if I give you a Maruti car, mm. whether you are a Hindu, oh, Maruti car works only for Hindus. So. Mm. No. You're saying yes. No, no. I'm listening to you. <laughs> because Maruti is Hanuman, you know, yeah. it works only for Hindus. <laughs> if you're a Muslim, it won't start. If you learn to drive the car, mm. the car will drive for anybody, mm. isn't it? Mm. So this is just a technology. You just learn to use it. So if you learn to use it, do you have to go and meet the manufacturer of the car? No. You don't go and meet uh, Mr. Suzuki, do you? No. You're not interested in him. Yeah. You just learn to drive and enjoy the car. Yeah. So similarly, you don't have to bother about me. You just learn to use the technology, benefit from that and live well, that's all I want. Mm. I don't want you to come behind me. Mm. I have my life to live. Mm. I don't want a following behind me. I want people to go ahead. God, man means I don't know what, he's a hybrid or something, I don't know. I'm not a hybrid. I'm very <laughs> organic. <laughs> Hybrid variety. <laughs> it is like, you know, uh, Liger, you heard of the Ligers? Yeah. <laughs> so this is like some god man. I don't know whether they're god or man or what. You yeah. should be one of them, it's good. Yeah. If you're a man, it's good. It's good. Ah, you have to be a god. <laughs> you know, all this too much talk about these kind of things has come only because most human beings have not realized the immensity of being human. If you had uh, to give one message, one very critical message according to you to the youth of um, our, our, you know, our India, what, what is that one message that you think would be most appropriate at this time? Youth means humanity in the making. Mm. You're still in the making. So if you're in the making, if you're in the works, if any product is in the works, it's not yet done. Mm. The more attention you pay to that, the better product you roll out. And every human being is his own making. Mm. That's why we said in this land, whoever you are, if you're doing well, we say, oh, that's his karma. Mm. If you're not doing well, we say, that's his karma. Mm. Karma means doing. We're just saying it's your doing. You're doing well, oh, that's your doing. You're not doing well, that's your doing. Correct. Your life is your doing. Mm. So if you understand this, when life is in the making, when you're not yet, when you're still in the process of being made, you're not yet a product, you're happening. Mm. The maximum attention you to pay to this one, the better product you roll out, the better the quality of your life will be. Mm. So if you want to enjoy life, you must know life. Mm. When I say no life, it's not about by going to your party. This is life, isn't it? Yeah. You going to the party, you going doing your work, you going to college, this is not life. That is just additions to your life. Mm. This is life, isn't it? Mm. If you… the more you know about this, the better you will live, the more you will experience in your life. Mm. So if you want to enjoy your life, you must know it. If you want to know it, you have to pay attention to it. Yeah. If you do not pay attention, nothing will yield to you. Do you believe in destiny or fate, Sadhguruji? Yes. Which one, destiny or fate, or both? Destiny is what every human being creates for himself. Mm. Fate is when he fails to create it. Yeah. Starts with the F. <laughs> <laughs> True. Thank you so much <laughs> for being on my show. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you. and. Uh, and I hope that I, I go out and spread the word to the world also. Thank you.